Welcome back students. In this video, I would like to talk about the addition and subtraction of signed integers that are represented in two's complement. So let us see how this is done. First, I need to talk about the difference between carry and overflow. So what is the difference between these two? Carry is important when you are dealing with unsigned integers. For example, if you are adding two unsigned integers, then you can check if there is a carry. If there is a carry, it means that the unsigned sum is out of range. That's what it means. So if you cannot represent the sum with n bits, you will get a carry. On the other hand, overflow is important when you are adding or subtracting signed integers. So you are dealing with signed integers. It, it indicates that the sum, which is signed, is out of range. That's what it means. There are two situations in which you can get overflow. Either you are adding two positive integers, two large positive integers, and the sum is out of range, so therefore it will be negative, or you are adding two negative numbers and the sum turns out to be positive. This is a clear indication that it is out of range. I will show this with examples in the next slide. The hardware has a simple way to detect overflow. It can look at the carry at the most significant bit and the carry out. If these carries are identical, then there is no overflow. If these carries are different, then it means that there is overflow. I'm just stating this without proof. So just look at the last two carries and check if they are identical or different. So the way that the hardware does check there is overflow is just exhorting cn minus 1 with cn let us take a look at some examples let us see how we can get carry and overflow there are four cases so you can actually have no carry no overflow or you can have a carry but without overflow or you can have no carry with overflow or you can have both carry and overflow so these are four cases let us take each case separately. So here I have the first case in which there is no carry and no overflow. So I'm just adding 15 plus 8, and the sum turns out to be 23. So the addition is done in binary. And you can see that there is no final output carry and there is no overflow. In the second example, I have a carry, but there is no overflow. So if you look at the first number, it is 15. If you look at the second number, it can have two different meanings. So this number can be unsigned or signed. If it is unsigned, it will be 248. But if it is signed, it will be negative 8. So therefore, there are two possible meanings for the second number. So if you add 15 plus 247, then the sum is a great is 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 exceeds uh, the maximum um, unsigned value that you can represent with eight bits. The largest unsigned value that you can represent with eight bits is 255. You can see that the sum is equal to seven, but there is a final carry. So this this uh, bit here is the final carry. And this final carry is equal to 200. This carry means 256. So this carry is 256. If you add the 7 plus the 256, this is 263. That's the exact sum. So you cannot represent 263 with 8 bits. And for this reason, we got the carry. This indicates that the sum is out of range. Now, if your numbers are signed, then the second number will not be 248, it will be negative 8. It will have a different decimal value. So if you add 15 plus negative 8, then the sum is 7. It is correct. So even though we got a carry, the carry is ignored and there is no overflow. The sum is simply equal to 7. 15 minus 8 is equal to 7. Now, notice that the last two carries are identical, okay? So, because they are identical, so this is uh, C7 and C8, okay? The carry on the most significant bit and the carry out. So, if you XOR 
C7 with C8, you get a zero. So this is an indication that there is no overflow. Okay, so overflow is equal to zero. So this is a clear example where we have a carry, but there is no overflow. We can have it the other way around. We can, act, we can have no carry, but overflow. If you look at the two numbers, okay, these are 79 and 64. If you look at them as unsigned, that will be 79 and 64. And if you look at them as being signed, that will have exactly the same values, positive 79 and positive 64. If you add them in binary, you will get 143. So this indicates that if the numbers are unsigned, then the sum is correct and there is no carry. So the unsigned sum is 143. However, if you look at them as being signed, then the sum is negative. You can see that the sign bit here is negative. And if you look at the decimal value of the signed number, it will be negative 113. So this is a clear indication that we have overflow. The sum of two positive numbers must be positive, but it cannot be represented with eight bits. This is a clear indication that we have overflow. Notice that the final output carry is zero and the last two carries are different. So because the last two carries are different, this is means overflow. The last example, I have carry and overflow. So in this example, I would like to add two numbers. The first number can have two meanings. It can be 218 or negative 38. The second number can have two meanings. Either it's 157 or negative 99. So it will be 157 if it is unsigned. It will be negative 99 it will, if it is signed. So you can see that the bits can have two different meanings, depending if you are looking at the numbers to be unsigned or signed. Now, if you add them in binary, you get 119. And you can see that there is a final carry. So the final carry here indicates that the unsigned sum is out of range. 218 plus 157 should give you a number which is greater than 119. In fact, if you add the carry, which is equal to 256, plus the 119, this will give you the exact sum. But the sum cannot be represented in eight bits. On the other hand, if you add negative to a negative, if these numbers were signed, then they are negative. You can see they actually are negative. And if you are adding a negative to a negative, you expect the result to be negative, but you are getting a positive result. This is a clear indication that we have overflow. Notice that the carry on the most significant bit is zero, so the last two carries are different, and this is also a clear indication that we have overflow. So this is the difference between carry and overflow. They are not related, and all the four cases are possible. Okay, so if I really would like to see the range, the carry, borrow, and overflow, I have to draw a line that can represent all the unsigned integers and all the signed integers. For unsigned integers, I can start with a minimum equal to zero and the maximum equal to two to the power n minus one because we are using n bits to represent the unsigned integer. This is the maximum unsigned integer that can be represented. Now, if you are adding two unsigned integers and you get a carry, it indicates that the sum is out of range. It exceeds the maximum unsigned that can be represented. So this is the meaning of the carry. In the case of subtraction, if you are subtracting two unsigned integers, you might get a borrow. And the borrow indicates that the difference the result is negative, but negative cannot be represented if the numbers are unsigned. So if the result is less than zero, which is the minimum for unsigned, then you get a borrow.
Okay, that's in the case of subtraction when you are dealing with unsigned integers. If you are dealing with signed integers in the tools complement representation, then zero is somewhere in the middle. And the maximum is this value here, which is two to the power n minus one minus one. And the minimum is this value, which is negative two to the power n minus one. Okay, so that's, this is the range. Okay, this is the minimum and this is the maximum. So the minimum is negative and the maximum is positive. Now, if you are adding two positive signed integers, let us say these two numbers, and you get the sum is greater than the maximum, then that's an indication that we have overflow. We call this positive overflow because we get the result, we, we have the sum is greater than the maximum. On the other hand, if you are adding two negative, let us say these two numbers here. If you are adding two negative signed integers and the sum turns out to be less than the minimum negative that can be represented, then we have negative overflow. So we can have overflow in two directions, in the positive direction as well as in the negative direction. In both cases, we say that we have overflow. Now, how do we calculate A minus B? Okay, we can do it using the borrow concept that we have seen in a previous presentation. So I can use the concept of the borrow, or I can convert subtraction into addition to the tools complement. So either way is possible. So let us first, let us take an example here. Okay, I would like to calculate A minus B so I can take the concept of the borrow. For example, to say zero minus one, you have to borrow. To calculate zero minus one, you have to borrow. So this zero becomes two, minus one is equal to a one, and then we have a borrow. Okay, so the borrow here is shown as minus one. So we have to take it from, we have to remove, we have to subtract it from this one. So this becomes zero minus zero will give us zero. So we can use the concept of the borrow. And if you do the subtraction using the concept of the borrow, you get this result. On the other hand, you can convert this subtraction into addition to the tools complement. So you can take the tools complement of this number, which is shown here in red, and then you can simply add to the tools complement. So A minus B, is a plus the tools complement of b and this is the tools complement of b so let us just add them okay you might actually get a carry here but since these two carries are identical the carry on the most significant and the output carry these are, are identical there is no overflow and you can see that the result is identical we get the same result so we have converted subtraction into addition to the tools complement. And the final carry is ignored because there is, no, there is no overflow. So what's actually important to us, whether there is overflow or no overflow. So in this example, there is no overflow because the carry, uh, the, 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 the last two carries are identical. Now, if you recall from the previous slide that A plus the tools complement of B, the tools complement of B is equal to the, to, two to the power N minus B, and it is equal to A minus B plus two to the power N. So this two to the power N is the final output carry. That's the carry. So what we want is that we would like to calculate A minus B and we would like to ignore the carry. So now I can design an adder that does both addition and subtraction. I can design a circuit that does addition and subtraction for signed integers that are represented in the tools complement. So if I would like to do a minus b i'm going to do a plus the tools complement of b so we have two operations so either up is equal to zero it means addition or up is equal to one it means subtraction 
So if I would like to calculate A plus B, then up will be equal to zero. So here I'm going to get, when you XOR B with zero, you get B. And C zero here will be equal to zero. On the other hand, so this will calculate, so if up equal to zero, you are adding A plus B plus zero, you get a sum and you get a carry. So this is uh, A plus B. That's the uh, addition of A plus B. If I would like, if I, if I would like to do subtraction, up will be equal to one, and when you XOR with one, you XOR all the bits of B. All the bits of B are XORed with up here, which is equal to one. You get here B prime. So in the case of subtraction, you get B prime, and then you use actually here C zero is equal to one. That's in the case of subtraction. C zero will be equal to one. So you are adding a plus b prime plus one. That is the two's complement of b. So you are calculating a plus. That's an adder that does addition here. Plus b prime plus one. That's the two's complement of b. So a plus the two's complement of b is a minus b. So the sum here is basic is the difference. It's equal to a minus b. So if up is equal to one are using the n bit adder to do subtraction thank you for watching this is my last slide in this video